Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm Rob, that's my bike. I got a new Wolf Tooth Resolve dropper post. The stock uh, reverb kind of ran its shelf life, so I had to get this one. I chose this one, fully serviceable. Wolf Tooth makes all the parts, so I'm hoping this will last me for a really long time. So today I'm at Bertram uh, Chain of Lakes, single track. Never been here before. I've heard some good things about it, but honestly not much. For the most part, I'm going in blind. I know there's a few wood features that look fun, but um, let's go check it out. All right, so I had a good first ride at Bertram, the highlight of which was hands down the wooden trail features they've built here. None of them are huge or necessarily that scary, but they show up at solid intervals and they certainly are unique. Heck, I counted not one, but two teeter-totters and neither of them stand alone, but tied into a larger overall feature. They were fun to session for sure. All right, well cool, I just met a local, Nick Bertram. He's actually the guy who told me to come out here, so good to meet you, Nick. Let's see how many times it takes me now to get over this two-tier skinny. Oh, oh. <sighs> One. Sweet! That's cool. Oh, pretty close. And I call that. All right, life goals. Like a two tiered skinny. Check. Ski jump drop. Well, now that looks, that looks like a decent size right there. Yeah. Get a little bit of speed. Go flying and cut super quick to the right. Cool. Kind of a really short approach here. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Wild thing. Ooh. Yeah, that looks like a skipper for me. Look at this though. That's pretty awesome. It's a teeter-totter in the middle. Heck yeah, it is. Wow, that's cool. Not really for me, but uh, it looks fun, so. All right, now I'm contemplating. Yeah, we're just gonna do this, I guess. All right, I said this wasn't for me because I hate these things, the log sticking up like that, but I mean, God, it's a teeter-totter. Kind of got to try it. Uh, and it's really low, so there's not really a lot of consequences here. Oh. Oh. Ah. Yep. Sweet. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> I'm not clearing anything clean off the bat today. That's for sure. Better. Oh yeah. Cool. No turns, that one's a lot easier for me. Oh, that's fun. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit more, uh, a little more speed. Might be able to jump that a little bit. Double dip drop. Double dip drop. 
That was sketchy because I was off on the side. Mount Python. Teeter totter, another teeter totter. Wow, look at this thing. This is wild. All right, the rest are holy shit. Now that's pretty cool. I like that. Woo, let's do this. I love it. Let's hope I'm in a good gear. Ooh, it's windy. too big for me. I'm not doing that. I like my derailleur. Yeah, here's another one. Those are cool. I just never, just never really have dug those. I don't know why. So, great job building them. Oh, Loch Ness Monster. The drop at the end, okay. Cool. Wow, so I don't do a lot of things like this. Oh my God, this is really cool. <laughs> yep, very cool, very cool, that's fun. Six set of wheels. So that's a look at the wood features out here at Bertram. They're definitely unique and fun to ride. As for the rest of the trail, I gotta say it's nothing too special. It was in great shape when I rode, and the overall build is solid, but there's just not much elevation out here to work with. While there are some fun flowy spots, they're generally short-lived and tend to end rather abruptly with some sharp turns. Oh, tree, oh, that came out of nowhere for me. Huck Harbor? or so it's named on Trail Forks, was my favorite stretch of trail out here at Birchall. Here's a little taste of that. Oh. Fun. Yo, that was awesome. All the trails are one way, Signage is pretty good with a combination of arrows and do not enter signs keeping you on track. There were a couple places where the trail forked and here some maps would really make sense. But if you have trail forks or MTB project on your phone, you'll have no problems getting around. So that's a look at Bertram. Thanks for watching today's video. I'll see you next time.